Hey guys, how's everyone? I'm back at it once again with a brand new video for you, and welcome to episode 14 of our Grid Let's Play and day 6 of Grid Week. Hope you guys are having an awesome Saturday afternoon, maybe watching some football and whatnot. So now, here's some grid to accompany your weekend schedule. Okay. In case you missed it, last episode, um, we finished America, we finished Europe. That leaves only one event left. Ah, shit. <laughs> Why? Why is it gonna be a drift event? I hate this. With all of my soul. Drift GP events are based on a knockout tournament structure. All competitors are paired off. You'll get one run in which to outscore your opponent. Beat him, and you'll progress to the next round of the tournament. Points are given for angle, speed, and duration of each of your drifts. Large angles and high speeds will mean bigger scores. After a drift, you'll have a short window of time to start another one. Link numerous drifts together and you'll increase your combo. Drift close to the red flags and you'll earn bonus points. However, be careful not to slide off the track or crash into anything. If you do, you'll lose any points you have in fact. Good luck. So yeah, that's, that's a Drift GT event. Now, again, I've been generally told that Nissan Silvia is the best drift car in the game, so we'll go with that. And I am knocking the difficulty down. There is no way I'm going to win this on Savage. Probably. So, forgive me, YouTube. I'm not doing this because I want to. I'm doing it because I have to. I'm winding the difficulty down to normal. Just this once. I promise I will practice off camera and it will do it better next time. In fact, I may do something to counteract this at the end of the video. We'll have to wait and see. But, uh, good God. Okie doke. A Katama GP. Only one lap of the drift circuit. I've never been on this drift circuit before. Oh god. Man, this is difficult, man. That's not bad points, though, is it? 105k? Okay, I'll be honest. I know a cheat to this, to make sure you don't lose. But I'm not going to do it in this video. But there is basically a cheat. If you struggle on this... Oh, wow. Ain't got 43,000? Okay. I'll take that. Okay, maybe I wound it down too much. Uh, <laughs> have to wait and see. I'm surprised he only scored 100, like, 105,000 was enough to win. I think it's Kenny Ito for Team Yoshikatsu. Edmonds got knocked out in the first round, which is uh, terrific. But yeah, there is a cheat basically to this. Um, Codemasters never patched it, but what you can do is if you do the complete lap, but then turn around before you cross the start line, go back to the beginning and start again, the game doesn't doesn't recognize the fact you've gone over a repeat ground. So it will basically, well, basically just uh, you, you can do it. As, you can go back and forth as many times as you like, basically. Nice. 139k. So on that logic, I should, I should already be done here, pretty much. Okay. 
Nice drift, there you go. Drift legend! Thank you, Grass! Yeah! <laughs> that was the most gangster shit I've ever seen in my life. People, this is my moment. Another insane drift. Hey, I'm suddenly getting better at this again. I'm rolling back the years and my car. <laughs> oh yeah. 459,000. Okay. Like, seriously, I've been crap at this mode ever since I first had this game in 2008, and now I'm actually looking like I'm competent at it. What is going on? The will of YouTube is driving me on here, okay? Clearly. That, that's the only logical explanation for this success, right? Seriously, a drift legend, 178k on one drift. I never did that the first time I even had the game. And I'm against Jin Kudo of Top Secret, who's like he's batting at about a hundred thousand. So, and that, and, the, and you guys probably know who the, the team Top Secret are if you follow um, drifting. One of the most famous tuning and uh, basically Japanese companies out there when it comes to, when it comes to cars and motorsport. Can all drifting events take place here? Wow, six times combo already. <laughs> okay, maybe not doing this on Savage was a mistake. Okay, guys, I'm sorry. <laughs> Forgive me for this. You, you, have, you have permission to call me a chicken in the comments, okay? Call me a chicken, I dare you. Oh, dear. <laughs> I'm better than I thought I was at this game. How about that? Okay, forgive me, folks. <laughs> 437,000. Where did this come from? You know what I think the problem is? I'm actually better around here than I am on doing the freestyle drifting places. That place is trash. Drift here instead, a proper track. Okay, next time, I'll, I promise I will not go that low, alright? 437,000 and the tournament. Oh, by the way, um, a couple of guys on Twitter ask, asking me some questions. Um, I'll answer them at the end of the video. I asked, I asked people on Twitter, um, at Harrison101HD, if you want to follow me, by the way. Um, just to uh, send me some questions, and uh, we'll get to that at the end of the vid. But yeah, we won as a team as well, which, which, which means more money. 23,000. Okay, then we're going to get rid of the women without damage ones as well, actually, while I'm at it. So, 146,000 rep in Japan. Oh, by the way, in case you guys are worrying about continuity issues and whatnot, I got rid of... Uh, I, I skipped Le Mans um, to start this season. So, I guess you wonder where that pop-up has gone. It's deliberately not there, okay? Uh, anyway, let's, let's quickly change the sponsors over. Uh, now, I know somebody said suggested getting rid of the finish without damage one because I'm getting quite dinged up a lot so I agree with you on that finishing third without damage finish first finishing a load of fifth okay that's 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 a bit better we'll go with that but the sponsors around aren't great anywho if you've watched any of the last two episodes you know exactly what's coming next It is the final head-to-head -head in Japan, and it is a midnight Toge event against Raven West in 50Z. Crikey. 
difficulty back to Savage, and yeah, basically it's Midnight Toge, like Toge, but on steroids and at night. <laughs> does that sound like a good thing to you? It does? You guys are narcissists. So it's one run straight to the bottom, first pass to post wins. Let's go. It's gonna follow this road down now. I've got like half an eye glued on my map, it's gonna be crazy. Like, because it's at night, you don't see what's coming as much. Like tunnels. Oh god. Only a minor error. Look at bloody McCain again. Bad down the inside, yes. I've got a feeling this is going to be a bit longer than the average ones we've done before. My god, it's just like... I'm, it's like I'm playing Infusia and Blur again with all these tight... Like, those two racing games, Infusia on the PS2 and Blur, like, they both had these really windy mountain tracks. Like, Forza 4's got one as well. Um, Takumi Fudo, I think it's called, or something like that. Like, they have these really, like, long, windy, mountainy courses that can be so challenging. And I'm, I'm at maximum concentration mode right here. I am slipping. But also, guys, if you're watching, um, if you've got any questions you want me to answer in the next video while I'm recording, just drop a comment saying, ask Harrison, and then give me a question. It could be anything to do with me, my videos, or anything sporting related. If you think I follow a sport that deserves, ow, that deserves mention, uh, let me know. Um, I'm, I'm always curious about these kind of things, and I love answering you guys' questions. I've done it on live streams countless times. How long does this bloody mountain go on for? I'm going to be here all night. Literally. Where is the finish? I have an angry American down my chuff who wants revenge for last time. Where is it? <laughs> All of my hate is in this right now. It's still going. I thought that may have been the finish line. Even though that bit does sound familiar to me. I think this might be the Pro Togo I was doing in the last episode. It looks familiar to me. This is quite thrilling though, and I love the car's handling. It's fantastic. Any errors will, will purely come from me. It's got nothing to do with the car. Whoa. Misjudged that one a little bit. Grassy patch under the bridge. That's what we're in the finish line, isn't it? That's gotta be it. Un under the bridge. That's where the finish line would normally be. Oh, yes! Yes! That is brilliant. Alright. Victory to Harrison. Suck it, McCain. Hey, I'm now 2 0 in matches against you, not including restarts. <laughs> in that case, I've still got one more to make up. But yay! £500,000 in bonus money. Gangster. Okay. We're in an interesting predicament here. I've now completed every level 1 event. And won the head-to-head, -head, and we're only 15 minutes into the taping. So I'm going to try and find something that's small we can do here for the next series, because this is level 2, and there's a whole heap of new events, and a lot of these 
have bigger championships, like free races and like and all that kind of palaver and stuff like that. So, if you want, if you want a quick peek of what I'm going to be doing in in future episodes, stay tuned. I'm just flicking through them all right now for you. If, if, if something short, we'll do it now. If not. We'll come back next time and do it. I'm sure you guys will forgive me for that. Because I don't want this video to be like half an hour long. But it looks like everything is now free race series. Oh god, downhill drifts. That sounds horrific. Uh, <laughs> that sounds like my worst nightmare. Free races. Free races. Drift battle. Midnight toge. Three rounds. God, that's going to be scary. Yeah, everything is free races long. So I'm going to cut this episode off here. But in the next episode... We start attacking level 2 and unlocking the level 3 badges. Hmm, haven't seen up here very much, have we? It's sexy. So, until then, I've been Harrison101. And before I go, a couple of questions. A question from a massive Madden YouTuber, Mr. Hurricane, saying, Where do you rank the Reliant Robin on your list of favourite cars? He's been watching Top Gear recently and he saw that segment with the um, Reliant Robin and how Clarkson kept tipping it over. Probably right at the bottom. A car with three wheels is something that's not exactly feasible in life. <laughs> so, probably near the bottom of my favourite cars, if I'm honest, Timmy. And from CalHD1, favourite type of boob? Um, probably the ones on my girlfriend. No? Okay, side boob. It's the only one that gets through the sensors. <laughs> like I said, if you've got a question you want me to answer in the next episode, feel free to drop it in the comments with Ask Harrison. I hope you guys enjoyed this slightly shorter episode, and I'll catch you guys next time. Thanks very much for watching, and yeah, sayonara.